Have you ever needed to send money to another person? Chances are you have and you've used PayPal. But did you know that PayPal is one of the most fished sites in the world? Let's look at a real world example of how PayPal is fished. As a PayPal user, you're accustomed to receiving promotional emails from PayPal with special offers that direct you to the PayPal website. Cybercriminals also send you promotional PayPal emails, but are more interested in directing you to phishing sites to steal your credentials. Cybercriminals abuse the trust we have in keys and certificates in cyber attacks every day. Let's look at how PayPal continues to be phished using the trust established by wildcard certificates. First, the cybercriminal compromises a website that already uses wildcard SSL certificates. Next, the cybercriminal needs to create a fictitious subdomain that will be used to host the fake PayPal webpage. Once the phishing site is set up, fake PayPal emails are sent out that look very similar to original PayPal promotional emails. When a user clicks on the link instead of going to the real PayPal website, they are directed to a fake web page. The fake PayPal web page is simply designed to capture your login credentials, and because it's hosted on a compromised web server with a legitimate wildcard certificate, the user will see the trusted green address bar showing the certificate is valid and the site can be trusted. This is exactly how the Malaysian police web server was compromised and used in a PayPal phishing attack not too long ago. By using long URLs, the fake address is shown in the display area and the real address is truncated. A user would not see anything wrong with the address unless they scrolled through the entire URL. The use of wildcard certificates in phishing attacks such as this are commonplace for cybercriminals. As a recommendation, wildcard certificates should not be used on public-facing servers.